DaVinci Resolve Dialogue Editing, Part 3. Fill and Fade. So in my last DaVinci Resolve Dialogue Editing video, we talked about phase aligning boom and lav mics when you have multiple mics in your production sound. Um, in the video before that, we talked about preparing your session for dialogue editing. Today, if we look at our outline, we're going to be trimming, filling, fading, and making sure the whole scene plays really smoothly. So this is kind of the meat and potatoes part of dialogue editing, and it's probably going to take a little bit longer than the other ones. But this type of care and consistency is going to just elevate your production to the next level. So instead of doing the shortcut on all this stuff, we're going to take the long way around. Um, and this is my favorite part because you really take this just mess of different cuts that don't belong together and you smooth them out and you end up with something that sounds really professional. So let's just look at how the scene plays now, warts and all. We have uh, made sure things are loud enough. We've phase aligned the boom in the labs, but we've done no other editing on this and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey man, you have it? Yeah. Look, if you don't want to sell, I get it. The boss just said you needed the money. Protect this. Keep it safe. Someday, you might need it. Wait. Here. 500's a deal. And that's only because that's out of the goodness of your old employer's heart. He knows how hard things have been since he left the business. Well? PayPal okay? You know, friends, family, no fees. Whatever. It's the Rainbow 69 420. Good deal. You be sure to tell Sarah hi for us, all right? Boom, and that's the end of the scene. So yeah, all kinds of nasty stuff going on and we're gonna fix that right now. So the very first thing you wanna do is go to the head of your scene. Uh, you can always go left and right like this to get to different time codes. So this actually starts here. There's a uh, hour one should be the top of your reel or your film. There's a second of black and then we go right in. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is any tracks you have open on the first frame, give it a little tiny, tiny fade in, like a frame. You know, frame is usually enough, but two frames is good, just so you don't get a tick there. And then we've got Josh kind of walking in. You can see a shadow here to the right. Um, I like to bring characters in with their lab, so it starts with zero. You can do that with the fade if you want, like this or you could do it with volume. We'll just do it with the fade for now. The, just kind of the overview of, of the methods of dialogue editing. You're really pasting and smoothing transitions. That's a lot of it. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this out and see, I've got footsteps here. And he says, hey man. So we can't pull this this piece too far up. But what we can do is roll the edit. So we're gonna switch to this audio a little bit later. Um, and you can see I've got the off mic labs muted here. They're still there, but they're muted. If I needed to grab anything from them, they're there, but you can also delete them. And then what I like to do is go to a different part of the clip and maybe grab it. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to do option and drag. And I'm going to see this is probably me saying action. action Josh. Yeah, action, Josh. <laughs> I can't have that. But before action, a lot of the times you can, how do I get this to this fade to go away? I just want to Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, real touchy. I just want this little piece here. Um, I'm going to blade that off. You could grab the lav um, if you wanted to as well, but the boom tends to be noisier. So I'm going to do that. And then I need to make a transition. 
So this is something I didn't know. I just had to look it up. Uh, and to do this trick, you will need to turn on layered audio editing. So if you go to resolve, go up to timeline and click this layered audio editing, it's about probably three quarters of the way down. What this allows you to do is you can see it kind of shows you a little ghost selection there, it allows you to drag clips underneath clips and then you just grab the fade and it gives you a nice little crossfade there. So we're going to be doing that for a lot of these transitions. Um, and like I said, I'm kind of learning this live with you guys because I am not a uh, Resolve. I mean, I've used Resolve, but, um, you know, it's not something that I do a ton of. Now, you don't have to fade labs as much. You can kind of cut them a little bit tighter because they tend to have less noise. So I'm going for a shorter, whoa, that's kind of weird. We don't want that. I'm going for a shorter fade on this lav. And then since we're rolling this edit, I'm going to do the same. This can just come up. Some people will even cut labs super tight, like just keep the words. Um, but I like to just keep as much as possible in and this transition should be a lot smoother. Hey Amen. You have it? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, there's a, some easy transitions in here. I'm not going to go through and like show each one because that's going to make for a really long video. But let's go to the hardest one, which is this one right here. Whatever. It's a rainbow 69 420. Good day. You be sure to tell Sarah Hop or us, alright? So that boat or car that's in the background is no good. There's a few ways we could deal with this. We could steal audio from another clip, um, but I kind of want to say that that performance is not going to be matched. So we have to drag this all the way out, and let's just listen. So that's pretty good. There's a little tick in here. Um, so maybe we'll want to like get that out. And you can see I'm not reaching for any plugins while I'm editing. This is the correct way to do a dialogue edit is you're just dealing with content. Uh, whoops, double clicked again. So the trick with this, we're on layered audio editing. So we're going to need a crossfade here crossfade here we're going to need to bring this in but then it runs into the crossfade so we're going to do probably some volume automation here oh no that's not going to work because that clip yeah so this is a little bit okay we'll bring that down to 15 and then we'll just set this one to be like 19. So it should fade in a little bit better. And then you, you need to do the same thing with your outgoing audio where, oops, no, I just want to cut this one and this one. Try to just go to the very end of the handle. Um, and let's see if that's smoother. Oops, we're soloed. Well, PayPal okay? You know, friends, family, no fees. Whatever. It's a rainbow 69, 420. Good deal. You be sure to tell Sarah hi for us. So you can see we haven't taken the noise out. We've just made it to where it sneaks in early enough to not be so obvious. And the reason this is going to work well is because when we mix this with, you know, background ambience or music, it's going to completely mask that. And if it doesn't, we can always, in the mix, reach for a plugin. But you want to get things as smooth as possible before you start reaching for hammers in the toolbox. Like, just start with cutting. Just start with the saw. Um, and there's a little... That's not good. There's a little hanging chad here at the end that I don't like, that I want to get rid of. That guy. 
Um, okay, so the layered audio editing is pretty cool. And then we're going into like a section where we're going to be in Kyle's head and there's some voiceover and, you know, we'll probably add some sound design. So similar to the beginning of the scene where we brought Josh in, I'm going to take him out. You know, as he goes away, we're going to lower his um, lav mic down. And we're going to do a similar thing for this because we're going into this section here of voiceover. I thought it was right. Protect this. Yeah, you can hear me say and cut. You don't want that. Get that out of there. If you wanted to extend this a little bit further, you could take this piece um, and, you know, keep it on consistent tracks, keep it on the boom and just loop it. You know, you could put this here, fade it in. If I can get the thing to grab it. Oh, you got to be like right on there, man. That is kind of crazy. And then do this, you know, that'll, there's that again. Um, this will get you a little bit more of that motor I sound. Right. Protect this. You know, if you, if you wanted to fade it out a little bit longer, you could do that. Just keep tracks, you know, if it's a boom, keep it on the boom. If it's a lav, keep it on lav. And feel free to label character names too, instead of lav three, lav four. Um, so yeah, this is kind of, I'm going to do this for the whole, um, for the whole scene. I just don't want to bore you guys with that because that's going to take me a while. But this, this method of right here, you know, extending clips and fading them in and out, it kind of blends them together and makes it to where you can get a really smooth dialogue at it. So I'm going to come back and show you what it sounds like when I've done this to all the clips. It has been about 15 minutes. I've got the scene edited as far as fill, fade, clip gain uh, without touching any plugins, no noise reduction, no isotope, nothing. Let's check out and see if it's smooth enough to maybe move on to the next step. Hey man, you have it? Yeah. Look, if you don't want to sell, I get it. The boss just said you needed the money. Protect this. Keep it safe. Someday you might need it. Wait. Here. 500's a deal. And that's only because that's out of the goodness of your old employer's heart. He knows how hard things have been since he left the business. Well? PayPal okay? You know, friends, family, no fees. Whatever. It's the Rainbow 69 420. Good deal. You be sure to tell Sarah hi for us, all right? Protect this. All right, it goes into like a little sound design thing there, but you know, it's way smoother. Even the part where the the engine comes in, like I can hear it come in, I know it's coming, but it starts early enough to where it kind of just rolls into the shot. So you can see with this layered editing, I've been able to fade in and out of stuff really smoothly. I'm only using the mics I need to for each shot. Each shot is pretty much on its own set of tracks for consistent uh, you know, processing when I mix this. And this is good enough where I would feel comfortable moving on to the mix stage. If we wanted to make it extra, extra squeaky clean, uh, there's some more steps we'll need to do, which we'll talk about in the next video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully this kind of showed you how a professional would approach a dialogue edit in DaVinci Resolve. It's a very powerful program. The layered audio editing is uh, definitely something you'd want to use for this kind of editing. And the nice thing about doing this kind of work is it makes it to where the decisions you make next when it comes to noise reduction, uh, processing, you are not bound by the, the bad edits. The edits are smooth. 
So you can decide if you want to use noise reduction or maybe you don't want to use any at all. And that's a nice thing about not skipping this step. It's really important. Uh, we'll, I'll just go back to, I had to look up something real quick. Uh, we'll go back to here. So, you know, it's important to go through each step, prepare, organize, then edit, prep it for the mix, and then mix it last. And I see so many people just skip this whole middle section and they have their timeline and they just start slapping plugins on it. And that unfortunately leads to stuff that sounds very robotic processed. It doesn't sound full. It doesn't sound rich. It just sounds watered down and weird. So we don't want weird. We want good sound. And I really want to help you guys get to that next level with uh, specifically this dialogue editing course. So tune into the next video. We are going to go in with a microscope on some of the ticks and pops uh, and you know the engine in the background and we'll start to to carefully deal with those things versus just slap a plug in on everything um, and then you know we'll probably end up with a really nice dialogue track for this scene so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you next time